was in Loki uh, with Disney Plus. There was an arcade in like Loki's lair. It was in the Simpsons. And, uh, it was in the Simpsons. Simpsons. Then it was Simpsons. true. Then it's true. We all know it's that. True. It's true. It's true. But it's true, it's true, it's true. They predict again, it all. like it's just it's just one of those things where it's like, and how many people like legit? It, it, it'd be so easy for these agencies to discredit, um, like people coming forward and being like, like these two people would be like, it, because it's so isolated. There's only six or seven machines. There was four, four or five. Like I feel like it would be so easy to like throw in some misinformation if okay, maybe that's not even a the game name of the game wasn't Polybius, right? But if the nugget of truth was there was a game that the CIA released, maybe the game was no good, but they were just testing these kind of things. It would be so easy for them to throw like some misinformation out there to get just everyone completely off course um, with what they were doing. And and to be honest, like if you look, if you look at some of the other shit the CIA has done uh, to American citizens. This would be on the low scale. The this would lowest. be on the low end of <laughs> low like end. problematic stories to come out for the CIA. Yeah, I don't know. It's a it's a cool concept though. The game that can control your mind, wipe your mind, possibly kill. Maybe they never stopped. You know, there's been a lot of different games over the years. Some people now they maybe they've perfected. Maybe it wasn't even a malicious thing by the government. Maybe it was just actually for money. Like, what makes a game addictive? What what turns people off from a game? What makes well, it just seems like marketing game? research? Like they've been doing that for yeah. decades, like trying to That's figure what I mean, out. But yeah. they did it. So this game, let's let's just say, like they all the knowledge to that point has been based on. We're gonna make this game. We're gonna see how people react, and we're gonna base that. And now we get to games like Fortnite, which actually was just sued for like hundreds of millions of dollars for being addictive and pretty much youth gambling is what it was yeah, yeah well, they're yeah. being purposely like uh, what was it one of them saying that their ui is purposely uh, like it's misleading it makes you buy shit you can't like, refund it stupid you... ui i agree it's but dumb. they just were sued for hundreds of millions of dollars because the game is so successful because it's like dialed it in it's got it nailed what what, what makes people well, it's, like, it's like the whole thing if you watch buy, any, what's gonna make people play if you watch any documentary on anything like like the the, the apps like the raid shadow legends or whatever and like those things like how these apps are designed to be these gaming apps are designed to be optimized for triggering all of the everything er, all of the the parts of your mind yeah. that are associated with gambling like all of the the pleasure the receptors qualities all, that, everything. all the dopamine that fits in triggering that fits in with cyber yogi where he says we had the map of the brain and all the fucking areas like all the sensory receptors that we wanted to hit in the different parts of the brain yeah it, it really does Hey, I mean, because they've, they've got to figure it out now. They, I mean, people fucking play these games for fucking 40, 50, 60 hours a week. Man. Here's the trick to it, though. You want to know how to beat that? Just be terrible at them. You never want to play them. <laughs> Just be really bad. Just be really bad. You know, what, though? you know what, though? Realistically, realistically, we're, we're not far off of some sort of future where, like, long-haul truck drivers are driving from VR from home. There are people who play hundreds of hours of Euro Truck Simulator. Yeah. <laughs> like, there, there's a there is a weird amount of people me. who play that for a long time. Like, Dude, pretend, it, like, are we talking like fucking cross country Canada, like that game? Yeah, yeah. but yes, like yes, life, they think they're long haul truckers, and they play that game hundreds right? of hours. Just go be a trucker and get paid. Then, well, be truckers from home. fucking sucks. So, but soon. so there's no there's no piss jogs involved. That's why. No. But there's also no well, fucking rest be. stop prostitutes, I bet. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a downside. It's, it's you lose, lose. Yeah, but yeah. You, could put, you could put in an order to, you could just come right to your house. You don't have to fucking do truck stop. You got your own nice bed. You got your own house. Yeah. Wants but I, I, I don't think we're far off from that. <laughs> no, they're not because the whole the whole thing about like fi- <laughs> the whole exactly. thing about now we we have five G five G internet we have Starlink we have internet that operates on very very low latency like sub twenty milliseconds so if the machinery on the other end is good enough and you can control it like say you have like these two VR remotes you can do they're doing surgeries now that's like the next thing they like, can do surgeries so I would play a, that game that's fucking cool. It's not a game. There's on a real person. It's a robot, it. but you're controlling. You're controlling. Oh, you're doing you're VR. Control- op- are you doing VR operation on real people? Yeah. So in, if there's some, if there's a conflict or there's a place with a, listen, the, no, 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 not that's not medical- okay. Zell, like Wait. you hit the sides, you don't get the buzzer like the fucking game. No, I think they, real they've people, already no done buzz. it at least once. I think, or is it? Was oh. they talking about an actual like? Because you have an actual surgeon doing it from across the country and being like in, just using the little beep 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 and. 
Yeah, the Holy only thing, fuck. the only dude, the only thing that's holding it back now is that the like the robot is not as precise as the person controlling it yet. Yeah, that's enough so, for me to be like, nah, I'm good. No, yeah, but, but it's, in, in another in five, ten, years. twenty. Well, let's, let's say twenty <laughs> years from now, the robot is so precise it operates, it does exactly what you do within like say ten milliseconds, which is not, it's not no, not oh, no buddy. So with, express with, surgeries, with, fucking with z- AI, z- 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 yep. with AI, what we got going on. I mean, the second AI gets as good as us, it's better than us because it's not going to take long at all for it to surpass doing the same surgery by itself. Perfected. I think they already had one. They already had one that already, like, it was just a, it was a really general, like, easy surgery but they, i think it's they not brain had, surgery right signed They're up doing for something. that so i don't know fuck that something that yeah, was no. done just like i don't know they probably it was probably in the united states they probably said hey we're gonna charge you like half the price <laughs> and they'd be like yeah i want fucking t1000 <laughs> doing my appendectomy thing. we're gonna charge you thirty thousand instead of sixty thousand. cool thanks <laughs> anyways i don't know how, how we got onto that topic of robot basically surgery. what we're trying to tell you is plebeus is a thousand percent real this could be it's real it's real oh. as real as it gets there's if you honestly, have a if I'm you're from portland it, i'm believing it if you're from portland real. and you went to one of these arcades back in the early 80s and you, and you seen played it. it and you seen it you must let us know because Especially if you have a picture realistic if, we, if we're looking for eyewitness accounts of polybius you, 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 maybe a couple hundred people maybe in Same. the short span that this thing allegedly existed, well, probably existed? more than that. If it's if it's multiple arcades over a month, it's, it might be a thousand or more. But there's, there's a, a relatively very few people who actually played the game. If it was real, mm-hmm. just seems weird you, that like if the, if these things you had uh, these medical conditions that it triggered, like there's no like be like a medical record of it, <laughs> like these kids. Well, like, here's they the didn't, thing: like, they, didn't, like, they didn't cart these kids away off to some like, like FBI, reflex- FBI black site to be like treat them and be like okay. <laughs> Well, a lot of times, like reflex seizures, that's a very normal occurrence in children, and you grow out of it. Right, right. but it's like we do. I it. mean, we have the documented cases about other arcade games, like causing, like or you know, being associated maybe with. Maybe this Those was were the first. Those but were maybe this news. was the first time. The first time that we had a game that actually affected people in that way, and that's why we had this like extreme response, being like, "We need to pull these all now because we don't know why the fuck this happened." Yeah, they just maybe they just weren't sure or some. Well, this is the this is 1981. This is the first time they're introducing new technology. All of a sudden, we have the first documented seizure caused by like induced by a video game by supposed this new technology. Let's pull these. Kind of makes sense to me. Boom. Um, yeah, know. it's a it's a cool concept. If none, if nonetheless. I mean, if you got any questions. Stephen R. Roach at yahoo.com. Yeah, yeah. Ask Light him up. Ask Light that him. motherfucker yeah. up. I, I'm just going to attribute it the the whole thing to it was a secret training program for uh, starfighters, and we won the war, and that's what triggered the <laughs> decline of the arcades. Is that we won the intergalactic uh, war already, that was it. and we're we're good. So don't, we're the intergalactic don't champions. Is what yeah. you're saying? Yeah. Yeah. I can champions. tell you what. I am not the last starfighter. We'd be <laughs> fucked. <laughs> we would be fucked. Yes. Anyways, if you if you I like that concept of you know mind control and government programs. Check out Case File eighty four if you have not already, which was MK Ultra, and Case File one thirty eight, which was Co Intel Pro, where it infiltrated a bunch of American groups to try and sway <laughs> sway the view of the people. Did we have another one that was just like that? Uh, well, we, I mean, we if he, if you feel so inclined as to support this show and help us continue doing what we do, you can head to our Patreon for as little as five dollars a month. You get access to all our bonus content, including um, you know Operation Midnight Climax, where the CIA took over San Francisco brothels and blackmailed <laughs> American civilians uh, and dosed them with drugs. No big deal. Or and even. Then- Operation Sea Spray, uh, where they sprayed what, what, what was it, Dan? Some sort of uh, bacterial um, sp- sp- spray to see how it would roll in with the fog, yeah. and they actually killed people with like uh, urinary tract infections. No big deal. Uh, Eurosepsis. No big That's deal. a real thing. UTI because the Eurosepsis dead. Um, hundred percent real. And I mean, we have tons of Operation uh, Operation Gladios, tons of other CIA. Um, knowledge that they don't want you to know about uh all on our patreon hell yeah and to get there it's easy you just go to alientheorist.com you hit support 
you choose Patreon, you choose the Supercast, all of the episodes show up for you on your podcast feed, ad early and ad free. And you also get your name cemented in ATT history by being read live on the show. This week's new supporters, we got Devin Telly, Kyle Scutting goes up in their pledge. Stian, the hot dog god. What what considers what makes you a hot dog hot dog god? Like, I would consider dogs? you a hot dog god. You were eating little links out of a can, right it's out of the water. Oh, I thought you were gonna oh, say that because he's got the biggest hot dog. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and moving on to Paul Bernard, <laughs> butt pirate Cass. That guy's in your band, isn't he? he might be. <laughs> That's your singer. He might be the singer. Trent De Dejiawia. Dijoya, I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Dijoya, Dijoya, Dijoya. Dan Rhodes, Alan Howard, Jesus. Diane. G <laughs> not Diane. Diane? Yeah, Isn't I think that's Diane. Ends? Not Diane? Well, maybe. Whatever. You know who you are. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know who you are. I don't. Know. Our Lord and Savior Jesus is, keeps canceling and repledging so he gets his name read again. This is the last time, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, we'll say it every away. time, Jesus. Don't worry. Michael Del Santo, Terry Chelton, and Deep Cover Canadian. Into what? The founders of Polybius. Thank you very much Canadian for version. supporting the show. Uh, you can, if you want some merch, you can head to uh, aliantheorist.com, hit the merch tab, uh, you, you know, go buy some uh, dope merch. That's another way to support the show. And as we always say at the end of these things, keep those eyes on the sky. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys. Enjoy the next video.